First at six, it has happened again. A murder allegedly committed by a man in the country illegally. Say he was arrested multiple times and was wanted by immigration authorities and yet remained free until being charged with an execution style murder in our area. Prince George's County Police announced the arrest of William Pavon Mancock last week. He's charged with first degree murder and a host of related crimes for a brutal act of violence. According to court charging documents, the murder happened here in this now seemingly abandoned homeless encampment just off of New Hampshire Avenue. A witness telling police that the MS-13 gang member known to them as Contra Chito got in an argument with another person here, pulled out an Uzi machine gun, shot the man in the chest, and then shot him again and again and again as he lay on the ground. Detectives heard from more tipsters, all saying that Contra Chita was Pavon Mancock. Now, 7 News has learned that the Honduran national entered the U.S. illegally and has remained despite several arrests. According to an Immigrations and Customs Enforcement spokesperson, Pavon Mancock was caught by the U.S. Border Patrol after illegally entering the U.S. at the Mexican border in 2017. He was then released by ICE into the U.S. May 10, 2017. He was arrested for a stolen car in Montgomery County in October 2023. An ICE detainer was not honored by the county. And then in November 2023, he was arrested on a drug charge in Anne Arundel County. After a couple months in jail, he was released and was free until his arrest for the murder in Prince George's County, October 5th. A new detainer has now been filed. Montgomery County Executive Mark Elrich soon after agreeing to honor ICE detainer requests when serious crimes are involved. It's a pretty good list of things that we will deport for and we will cooperate. Tonight, Pavon Mancock remains held without bond in the Prince George's County Detention Center with ICE watching his case closely.